This is the Reflection of Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. And tonight on Fight Night, we're going to do one of the most infamous fights of all time. We go back to June 15th, 1984 for the vacant Super Welterweight Championship of the World. The two top contenders were none other than Thomas the Hitman's Hearns against Roberto Duran. Duran was coming into this right after his fight with Marvin Hagler, and his record was 77-5. and Tommy Hearns' record was 38-1. and So, and this fight was going to be at Caesars Palace. It was originally supposed to be at the Bahamas, but then they moved it to the Caesars Palace. Now, that's right. The top two contenders were Hearns and Duran. Now, the problem with this fight was that Hearns was... His reach advantage was going to be astronomical because Duran was just basically an overblown lightweight. Whereas Hearns, that was his bread and butter was welterweight. You know, he goes up a little, he got in the disadvantage. But welterweight, that was, that was where Hearns was prime. The same way as lightweight, it was Duran. So Duran was actually at the disadvantage before the fight even starts. So... We were going to find out who the better man was. Now, let me cue this up. And the thing about another fight was, this was after, like I said, the first... Ah, sorry. This was directly after Hagler versus Duran. Now, the thing about that fight was that Duran was leading after 13 rounds, but Hagler won the last two rounds. Now, the thing about it, it was Hagler won a 15-round fight, and he, and he actually got stripped of one of the belts for that. So if it wasn't a 15-round fight, Duran would have won. <laughs> so anyway, here's Duran versus Hearns. Chuck Hall, ring announcer. Now, if I remember correctly, there was a Tony Tucker fight in the undercard, along with a bunch of nobodies. Either the top rope was all messed up, or somebody... Oh, no, somebody's standing on it. Carlos Badilla, the referee. Turn, Duran turned pro in 1967. 77 and 5 with 58 knockouts. 82 fights, 58 knockouts. Manos de Pedra. And like I said, one of the best books in boxing history, The Four Kings. Boxes that dominated the 70s and 80s. Hearns, Hagler, Duran, and Leonard. Those were the best four fighters of the whole boxing industry. And now two of them are going to go at it in this match. Yeah, here, here's Hearns. 38-1 with 32 knockouts. I think this was after Hearns had lost to Hagler. So both of these guys lost to Hagler. Oh, Duran would have won if it was 12 rounds. Yeah, Duran, uh, Hearns is just towering over Duran. Now, that's never a good thing. And that was, that was Hearns. He was tall, he was lanky, but he was also fast. Yeah, yeah. Duran is like smirking at him, and Hearns is like, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. Yeah, Hearns was only 25 years old. Duran was 32. There it is. Five, Duran was 5'7". Hearns is 6'1". That, that's a 5-inch reach advantage. Now, here we go. Now, they said that, that Duran had to drop from 190 pounds to 154 for this fight. That, that's, that's, that's putting your body through too much. Of course, the, of course, the uh, secret is not to get up to 190 pounds, Duran. All right, so here's the thing. Duran's trying to get inside, but Hearns' jab is just, like, keeping him on the outside here. Oh! Duran just tagged him with a left jab. 
And that's the thing about Durant. Usually he got inside and fought. He's, he's fighting very timid here. I think the I think the just the reach advantage just scared Durant. But Durant was a tough customer. He was one of the greatest, if not the greatest, lightweight fighters in history. A lot of people say like a prime Durant is a lightweight with a ball Floyd Mayweather. Oh, Durant actually tagged him pretty good. And here's Durant keeping that left jab. Durant can't get inside. Burns just keeping him off with that left jab. Oh, there was a right hook. Oh, oh, he's starting to pepper him. Burns is, oh, Burns is beating the shit out of him. Oh, 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 he's not even getting his gloves up. Come on. Oh, then now Durant's going to throw with him, but no, he can't do that. He's too... Yeah, even the announcer figured it out. Durant standing straight up. He's not even moving his head. Yeah, his head's not moving. Durant's just like hitting... Hearns is like hitting the punching bag. Now Durant slipped and Hearns like, yeah, 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 let's go. Oh, Durant's cut. Yep, Durant's cut. Oh, Hearns tagged him again. Yeah. Oh, he caught him. And down goes Duran. Duran tried for a left jab, and Hearns just got in there with a right hand. Oh, and yep. Yeah. Hearns smells blood. He's just peppering him and peppering him. And down he goes again. Oh, down he goes again. Yep, saved by the bell. Three, two, one, and. He's like, you want to continue? He's like, yeah, 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 I'm okay. Saved by the bell. I know, Duran and, and Duran and Hurry keeps touching their gloves, like, yeah, 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 you know. Duran didn't even know when no, Duran went to the wrong corner. Yeah, Duran's left eye is busted open. All right, here's the first knockdown. Yeah, Durant's standing straight up. He goes for the right hand, and Hearns just buries him with the right cross. And Durant's like, oh. Here it is. Here's the other one. Here's body blow. Hit him in the face. Oh, left hook, left jab, right uppercut. Another combination. And there it is. Hearns just... Bang, 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 bang. And another body punch dropped him. All right, here we go. Round two. Durant's just standing straight up. He's not trying to slip a jab. He's playing right in the Hearns. You know, and now he Hearns, he's just going to pepper him. Oh! Now Durant's fighting back. He caught him with the right hook. Oh, oh. Well, at least Durant's trying to fight back here. Is this Hearns? Oh, he just buried him with the left hook. And there's a right combination into the corner. And he's just pulling him in the corner and all oh, with a right hook. And now, now Durant's clinching for the first time. He's like, all right, get him off. And there we go. Hearns, bang, bang. Durant throws and misses. Hearns, Hearns doesn't miss. He's peppering him and peppering him and peppering him. Durant trying to cover up. Oh, 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 oh. And now they're just throwing haymakers at each other. Oh, Hearns missed with a right hand. Oh, not that time. He's done. And Durant's knocked out cold. Yep, that's it. Fight's over. Yep, Hearns just nailed him with a right cross. And Durant's like, mm. And Durant's like, eh. Ah. And, that, yeah, I forgot about that. Hearn said before the fight he knocked Duran out in two rounds. So this was for, like, one of the one of the alphabet belts, but Durant, but Hearns was actually 
uh, the, the super welterweight champion. So very much Duran dropped the title that he had to fight Hagler. And so now he was coming back to fight for that title. And then her just like, nope. <laughs> so of the four kings, Duran was definitely afraid of Thomas Hearns. And I don't think they ever fought again. So that was Duran's weakness of, of, of the four of the others. He beat Leonard. He had Hagler beat, but he couldn't touch Hearns. And that was the knock on Duran. Well, of course, he was past his prime by that point. All right, that was Hearns versus Duran. <laughs> Hearns made miss me out of him. And uh, yeah, that, that, that right hand at the end just, just dropped him. It's like he, he was face first on the mat, like, Ugh, you know. And I don't, think Her I don't think Duran was ever the same after that. Well, that was an entertaining two rounds. It wasn't as entertaining as the Hagler Hearns fight, but that's a story for another time. As for right now, TRP saying, see ya.